is so good to be back. I hope that you all had a really good couple of weeks. Um, I had an epic time in Glastonbury. It wasn't quite Poland as we anticipated, uh, but I went back to my second home. I went and saw my friends, went and visited the goddess temples, the chalice wells, grabbed loads of spring water. It was incredible. Um, but you're all happy to know these lights are really dodging up. So if they start flashing at you, they do end flashing, but they do start flashing as well. So um, I'm back. I come back uh, just before I went away. I got this epic t-shirt as well. Um, so this is a shout out to Kels for getting this printed for me. She's one of my subscribers. I've been reading for her for a while. She came to me and said, oh, my son designs these t-shirts. And we wondered if you wanted one with your logo on. And I was like, oh, I'd love it. So if you're interested in prints, I've got her business card, her, uh, her son's business card. It's uh, Dare Your Prints. Dare Your Prints. So big shout out to Kels. Thank you so much. She also got me a mask with the Mystic Love Tarot logo on it as well. So that was pretty epic as well. How many times do I say epic? It's like my favourite word. So what we're going to do today is what aren't they telling you about their true feelings, okay? So we're really going to go into your people's energy. Now I'm going to use the same decks that I used before I went away. Way, the light and shadow one this one is getting released in november i got my hands on it early because i'm very blessed um so deck number one and deck number two now they both look exactly the same one deck is light one deck is the shadow side of things and it, they are such a good such a good deck to use they're really fun um number one number two so think about you think about your person and as you're thinking about the per your person feel your energy feel their energy push into the deck that you are most drawn to Fabulous. I'm actually going to turn those lights off, I think, because they are really, really flashy. And uh, it's going to drive me mad seeing that in the background. So no lights today. Number one, number two. OK, let's do this. So deck number one. So what aren't they telling you about the true feelings? OK, let's do this. Think about your person for me. Can we get into the collector's energy of deck number one? So as always, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. Goes into all your energies, goes into all your people's energy, and we pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. Okay, their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Let me just do it this way for a second. Now you can see the colour of the deck. Or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the first thing that's coming up um, is a song from The Greatest Showman, and that is This Is Me. Okay, now that's coming very much into your guys' energy. Um, so where you are at this moment in time, what you're doing... Um, the specific lyrics of it, I'm not entirely sure, but when the sharpest words want to cut you down, going to send a flood and drown them out. Um, and however you're feeling, this is who you are. And you are specifically where you are meant to be on your journey at the moment. Okay, Spirit said that really clearly. So wherever your journey has led you, wherever you are at this specific moment in time, you are where you are meant to be and you are growing as a person. And that is really important that you are aware of that. So you definitely chose the light colour deck. What are their persons, I've written it down, what aren't they telling them about their true emotions? Let's see what's going on. What aren't they telling them? How many do you want? My guide is saying nine. We're going to do nine cards. Woo! Woo, woo, woo. Three. What aren't they saying about their true emotions? Four. Five. Yeah, so that song's kind of really relevant for you all. If you haven't watched uh, The Greatest Showman, um, you don't really need to listen. watch it. You can just listen to the soundtrack and listen to that This Is Me song. It's um, really strongly coming through my right ear. Six, seven. Eight. Nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is nine. So what your person isn't telling you about their true feelings for you. There is this very strong need to reconcile with you, 
Okay, look how cute they are. There's this very strong need to reconcile with you. There's stuff that has been happening um, throughout their life, throughout their cycles, um, and they've feeling been feeling quite low, quite down, quite heavy um, over recent times. And there's been a lot of stuff from the surf from under the surface which has been really dragged up. So I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of your people have been experiencing dark nights of the soul, that they've been really going through this very strong, achy, heavy energy. And that strong, achy, heavy energy is to do with you. So if you're thinking if they're not in contact or whatever's going on, that you are out of their mind, out of sight, out of mind, you couldn't be more wrong. Okay, your person is really having this strong pull towards their thought process towards you and towards their emotions for you really feeling this need to reconcile to reconnect um, and again stuff that's happened in the past between the two of you is coming up to the surface they're trying to clear it they're thinking through good memories they're thinking through the heavier memories the light and the shadow and they're trying to find that um I just heard a song which said walking on a tightrope, but I don't know what song that is. They're trying to balance this tightrope, you know, walking along between the two. Um, but overall, the energy is that they have these very strong thoughts for you, very strong feelings for you. And there is this need to want to reach out and reconcile. They wouldn't have told you this, but they have been in a bit of a conflicting place over the situation with you. If you're not in contact, they've been wanting to message you, but they haven't known how to do it. So they've kind of just stood, fat, stood back not done much on it. Look how cute the hell man is. They've stood back, not done much on it. Um, and you've been feeling quite frustrated and fed up with that. You're feeling like, you know, what's actually happening, what's going on. And the reason for that is because your person is conflicted and they're conflicted in their mind and they're conflicted in their heart and they are conflicted in their passions as well. So they don't know whether to just reach out to you and say, hey, what's going on? They don't know if they should reach out to you with something a little bit more sexual. And um, they're trying to think outside the box on how to communicate with you, okay? Even if you're in contact, how to communicate with you, what to actually do over the situation. And they're adding two and two and at the moment they're making making 10. They're not coming to any viable solutions, spirit is saying. So they're just holding fire, sitting on that tightrope, trying to balance their energies, balance where they are heading, what's going on. And this is what's making them feel in this stuckness, okay? So through this period of feeling sticky, feeling stagnant, feeling stuck, this is when they're going to have this kind of revelation, spirit is saying. They're going to have a revelation over the connection between the two of, you, two of you. And this light is going to hit them. And when this light hits them, this is when this conflicting energy is going to fade away and you're going to have this communication of what they want coming forward now they will tell you some of them will tell you what they want how they're feeling and what they want and the reason for that is because they haven't done it before they haven't really communicated what's going on in their mind before. Um, but now they've been really being drawn back to these emotions, really being drawn back to reconciling or, or coming together, reunion between the two of you or a union between you both. This is when they will express their feelings for you. And there is an open communication coming forward with that. OK, so if you're worried that they're not going to talk to you about what they're feeling, you are going to get more than what you have. Now, Spirit is saying with that, that they are going to kind of tell you the surface level of things. So they will tell you how they're feeling. They will tell you what's going on, but they won't tell you that they've been in this kind of turmoil over it all, that they haven't got you out of their mind, that they, they've been struggling to work out what to do over the situation. But they will tell you that they have got these emotions for you. They have got these feelings for you. And this is something that they want to see where it progresses between. OK, now for you lot watching, you... um are unsure about what to do with the situation. My gran was a very wise woman and she always used to say, if you don't know what to do, then don't do anything. Just hold fire. You've worked really hard to be the person who you are. You know, you're really in this kind of queen of swords energy, this kick-ass energy. And that is why this, this is me song is coming up into your energy as well. You've worked so hard to be the people that you are today. Um, and you've kind of got this indecision going on around you. Do you reach out? Do you stay put? Are they going to do something? Do you move on? Um, and it's putting your head in turmoil. Now, Spirit is saying with that, give yourself a bit of a break. Give yourself a bit of a breather. Give yourself a bit of a downtime from thinking over it, okay? Because your person is coming towards you with these offers. There is an offer coming forward. Now, the other thing that we need to kind of mention over here again is you have got a lot of wands energy. You know, there's a lot of wands energy stepping up. Again, really focusing on the passions, the creativity, uh, the passionate side of things between the two of you. Um, so when they come towards you, um, if it's a bit hot, it's a bit steamy, it's a little bit woo-hoo-hoo, -hoo, um, 
your person is interested in more than that, but they're just going to be using that as a cover up to talk about their emotions. OK, and um, when it comes to talking about feelings, your person shies away from that. And when they you've got five of cups over here, they're feeling at this moment in time, they're feeling quite low. You know, they're feeling that it's not working out the way that you want it to or the way that they want it to. Hence why they are in turmoil. Hence why the head is going to 10 to a dozen, Spirit is saying, um, and why you're feeling that they're feeling this need to kind of reconcile, reconnect, reunion or coming together with you. And that is where your offer is coming forward. OK, so in this kind of period of stagnancy, they're going to turn around and see the light and there's going to be movement made towards you. And with your page of ones over here, they will come towards you with some form of offer. It might not be the offer that you are anticipating, so do be aware of that. Um, but there is going to be this need to, for them to express their emotions. So they'll talk to you about how they're feeling. They'll talk to you about what's going on. It will be surface level and they might mask it with a more sexual energy, but they are interested in, in seeing where this goes with you. The other side of things and their true feelings for you, very strong chemistry, very strong sexual energy. It feels as if you kind of spark their soul. Um, so throughout their life, they kind of felt that they were existing and not living. And when it comes to the connection with you, you really give them that lust for life. You really give them that need to live rather than to just exist. And sometimes that can panic them because they've never experienced that kind of connection before. But between the two of you and your energies merging and and spirit saying colliding with one another, this passionate energy is stepping forward. Now with that as well, there is this potential for a few arguments. I just got um, Love the Way You Lie by Eminem and Rihanna. I want to say Rihanna, not Rihanna, she's a goddess. Rihanna, <laughs> Eminem and Rihanna, um, Love the Way You Lie. It's not about them lying towards you, but it's about that energy between the two of you. And if you watch that video, again, there's a lot of fire energy. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of creativity. And that is being brought into your guys energy. So regardless of what your individual circumstances are, this relationship is drawing the two of you back together. And with that spirit, just put a magnet into my hands as I'm doing this. This is why my hands are moving as that you get really, really drawn to one another. And then one of you can flip and you start repelling. Um, and that is the nature of your connection. So so it doesn't mean that they don't love you. It doesn't mean that they, they don't care about you or they haven't got feelings. It's just that the energy between the two of you is very strong and it's very intense. OK, so over here with you, you guys just stay put until a choice and a decision is made. Your person is going to make these moves towards you. They just need a little bit of uh, working through this stagnation. If they're blowing hot and cold with you, let them blow cold and don't go chasing them because if you chase them, you're going to push them further into this stagnancy. Let them come to you. The other thing over here that we have the only pentacles card in the whole nine cards that we picked, uh, well, that, that jumped is um, the nine of pentacles, nine of serpents in this deck. And what the, uh, sorry, eight of serpents in this deck. And what this is saying over here is that they're, wor they're working out what it is that they want. OK, so this mixed up with your six of cups is showing that they are taking this time now to really reflect on what it is that they want. And through that, you've got this movement. So their true feelings towards you and what aren't they telling you about their feelings? They are in turmoil. They're in turmoil about how they've treated you. They're in turmoil about what's going to happen next. They're getting a massive pull towards you. They want to see what's going on. They want to see what you're up to. They want to reach out if you're not in communication and they want to see where this progresses. The sexual energy and the chemistry between the two of you, they haven't found with anyone else. Um, some of them, you know, not that they've been looking, but they haven't found it with anyone else throughout their entire life. OK, and through that, you've got this movement towards you based on this passionate energy that they're, they're having a bit of downtime or, you know, blowing hot and cold or whatever their behaviour is doing as they work out what it is that they want. And um, utter turmoil going on with the two fives over here, five of cups, five of wands, feeling, you know, that the situation hasn't gone how they anticipated it to. Um, and through that, with this page of wands kind of coming up again, you have this movement. Sometimes they might be acting a little bit immature with this situation as well. Um, so if they start to be a little bit of a, what's a nice word? I swear like anything, I just try not to swear on YouTube, uh, a dickhead. If they start to be a bit of a dickhead, um, again, it's because they're trying to hide away from their emotions. Okay, they're, they're not so good at dealing with them. So they put them on the back burner. 
okay and that's when the sexual energy or the chemistry comes up between you two more so um there is very strong emotions here but there is at the moment they're focusing more on the passionate side of things um the more chemistry between the two of you and really feeling this need for this connection to re-establish or to to kind of go the next steps i'm just going to do your lenoma as well with debt number one okay lenoma for debt number one what are their people telling them about their emotions what are they hiding about their emotions Deck number one. Cute. You like this? Let me just get two more. Four. Yeah. Okay. So, what aren't they telling you about the motion? Uh, about their emotions, not their emotions. Probably a bit of both because these signify both kind of coming up so at the moment they're feeling that the communication has been took from them that they have they are feeling the sense of loss over this communication with you so again even if you are in contact there feels to be a sense of loss and this kind of comes up over here with your uh where's it gone your six of cups which i can't see i just had it no i didn't Okay, well, your six of cups over there, they're feeling this sense of loss over communication. And this is what we're saying about them feeling, um, really thinking back about stuff that's happened in the past, really thinking about the memories. Okay, now from this, from there, what's going to happen is your person is going to communicate to you and you're going to get some form of commitment coming in from them. Again, this is the offer that the page of one stands for. So communication over commitment. Their commitment is going to want to be leading to a point where you guys are meeting up or FaceTiming if you can't meet up, talking socially and um, really feeling that need to reconnect with you or, or to connect with you and see where this is going. Um, and from that meeting, you're going through this period of transformation with them. OK, so you're going to feel at that point in time that this relationship is really transforming and going the next steps. So your person and their emotions for you um, and what they're not telling you about them is that they have got very strong emotions for you. They're just very good at masking them, um, but they want to see where this connection goes. And again, even if it's a crappy situation and you're not in contact, they want to see where this connection is going to go. They want to see where the next chapter is heading between you both. OK, so it's a really positive spirit saying really clearly there's always a silver lining. Um, and they just also said to get the rainbow, you have to put up with the rain. And that is where your energy is. So you, even if it's a bit stagnant and crappy at the moment, there is that silver lining. That rainbow is coming. So keep strong. You're doing amazing. OK, guys, and that is deck number one. My turnaround time is down to seven to 14 days at the moment because of me being away uh, and now being back. So if you want me, it's a good time to book uh what else what else i think that's it um i've missed you all like crazy uh, i love you all to pieces and i will speak to you soon bye deck number one okay guys deck number two uh so you pick the shadow side of things i love these decks these are epic um they're coming out in november at some point in november i got my hands on an early copy of them from the tarot conference Okay, so just going to go into your energy and then go into all your people's energy. So think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number two. So as always, it works on the strongest mutual energy with you all. If you want to look at your individual circumstances, all my details are on the website, www.mysticlovetarot.com okay let's do this so i'm gonna do nine cards and then i'm gonna look at your lenoma as well because i know you love your lenoma like i do very sexy lenoma okay what i've written it down so i can remember it what aren't they telling you guys about their true feelings what are their people not telling them about their true feelings that's lovely fabulous the energy is great two Okay, what's happening? Three. Ooh. What aren't they telling them about their true feelings? I unbox these cards every single time I do a reading and then when I flip them round and I start shuffling, they start to box themselves off again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight. 
eight. Okay, you're having 10. You are having 10. Right, your person and their true feelings towards you. Your person is quite difficult let's put it like that they can be quite stubborn they can be quite i am doing this my way i uh, just got limp biscuit my way or the highway it's kind of like you're feeling that they are in control of this situation at the moment they are the one that's kind of calling the shots and you're sitting there thinking well you know what how much longer is this going to take what's really going on what's really happening you're not explaining yourself to me and you've got this conflicting energy that comes from that. Now, with the nine of pentacles over here, this is the shadow side. They're just beautiful, aren't they? You can see all these kind of infinity symbols going between the, the, the pentacles that, that would be pentacles, the serpents. So your person knows that this connection is something deeper than what they have let on. OK, and sometimes you're going to feel like you're chasing your tail with the connection, but they are feeling that as well. There's this very uh, strong addiction energy coming up between the two of you. And neither of you can really break away from this cycle, that you can break away from the connection. Um, and, you, you know, you're very much interlinked. And if we look at the top one over here, this is the helix that I talk about, uh, like the DNA helix with spiritual connections. You will find that you have this helix going on with them and you'll come together. You'll go your separate ways, learn your lessons come back and you'll wave it in and out so this is where the cycle is really going between the two of you and um, they might be saying to you I don't want to commit to you or not giving you what it is that you want you might feel like are they playing me what's actually happening um, but the reason why they're not giving you that kind of commitment at the moment or what it is that you want is because um, they just want to see what happens between the two of you they want to go with the flow of it OK, so if they're not saying to you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, I want to get married, I want to have kids. Please don't think that that's not happening in their thought process. It has been going through their thought process. It's just the intensity of this connection uh, can make them go the opposite way on the helix. OK, so your energies, no matter where you go and what happens, this person is waving in and out of your life up to date where you are at this point in time so you have this kind of movement coming forward towards you again like debt number one i said this it's a very sexual energy a very chemistry based energy but that is the connection between the two of you and that is what kind of intensifies it why you haven't felt that you know you can meet anyone who is like your person and why equally your person has never met anyone like you so there is this very strong pull towards you this very strong door uh pull spirit to show me a door that's why said door um if you guys are not in contact and they've just ghosted you they've left the door open they've just shown me a really clairvoyant image of the door opening and it's wavering in the wind so it, there is this kind of movement back towards you again over here with the queen of wands they ha are seeing you in this very strong powerful position they're seeing you in a way that they haven't seen a lot of women before in the past it feels like with a few of you guys they've always managed to kind of run rings around around women and they're feeling very differently towards you that they can't run these rings around you that you've really impacted on their emotions and their heart um, and so even though you think you, they are in control of this, you are actually more in control of this situation than what you know. Um, you guys are looking to the past with, with what's happened with them and thinking, should I have done this differently? Should I have done that differently? The answer is no. Um, you've done everything as you absolutely needed to. And through that, again, this movement coming towards you. OK, they're feeling quite they're not feeling they're not feeling stable with the situation um but they are feeling stable with regard to how they feel about you they're just not acknowledging it so they've also been kind of let's go all oh, your fives up we've got two fives over here they've been feeling um quite conflicted over this they've been feeling quite lonely again with your energies in the middle look at the infinities coming on and um, they know that this connection is more than meets the eye they know that there is deeper energies coming and coming around here now they also know that the way that they've behaved around you isn't really what you deserve and you deserve more than how they have treated you and this is where this kind of um five of swords is coming up okay they're feeling that um they let themselves down you know, or continue to let themselves down. And then again, the reason for that is because the pull towards you is so strong, they don't know how to handle the energies. So you might find that they say things that are underhanded or they snap at you or um, they give you this kind of 
spiel spirit saying they give you this spiel and you're trying to set you're sitting there trying to make sense of it all um they know that they're not handling the situation the best way but they don't know why and the reason why is because the chemistry and the connection between the two of you is really deep so it's going to be more likely a twin flame relationship or a higher vibrational soulmate connection especially with your energies wavering in and out um your person has got these emotions towards you you know there is feelings here there are feelings here um these feelings are are very strong they're very passionate they're very intense um i just got a scene from uh god i haven't watched that movie in years troy um with helen of troy and the guy that she ends up ruining the whole of the the oh god i can't even remember the storyline but helen and the guy that was in lord of the rings I think it's him. Those two and their love that they share between each other and the kind of disasters that it caused through their love. Your person is scared um, of giving you that kind of commitment. Not that it's going to cause a great armada and people are going to, you know, go back to Troy, but he's scared uh, or they, sorry, lads, um, they or, or women, they are scared of the connection. They're scared of what could happen, what would be the consequences of it. Um, and it, again, it's because of the chemistry between the two of you. OK, so your person, um, if you're not, if you're having a bit of downtime from it all at the moment with the four of swords and temperance coming up over here, it's possible that you're having a bit of downtime. You're not really sure what's going on. Enjoy the downtime. <laughs> I know that sounds contradictory, but enjoy the downtime because it's going to come back full circle and it's going to be really intense as it has been before. Um, there is this need for uh, enlightenment of the situation and this enlightenment will come from this kind of downtime that you guys are potentially having. Your person's having a little bit of a breather. Um, you're feeling like the kind of cup that you guys were, were holding together, the cup of emotions, the cup of love. Could be a little bit cracked, but it's not. It's not. It's just the intensity of this is really kind of echoing into both of your connections. You do pick up on each other as well. So if you're suddenly hit with a wave of anxiety or you're absolutely fine and then you feel really, really sad, you are picking up on your person. Um, do make sure that you're asking who it belongs to. And if it feels lighter in your energy, return to sender. So who does this belong to? If it feels lighter, return to sender. Send it back, okay? Not going to do anything. It's just the empath in you absorbing it into your energy because you're like a sponge if you send it back okay it, it won't affect them it's their their thoughts their emotions anyway 98 percent of emotions that we pick up are not our own so just bear that in mind okay um so then from there from there from there we have movement we have movement towards you uh almost a need for immediate action spirit are saying here so um for this kind of where you guys are at this moment in time there is going to be this pull towards you this very strong wanting to reach out wanting to connect wanting to see what's happening wanting to see where this is going really strong movement they're going to come towards you with some form of stability okay and with the eight over here well it's an infinity but if you look at it that way it's an eight signifying abundance but also the looping of your energies coming back together and nine of cups Okay, so your wish is kind of coming true with this. So they, what aren't they telling you about their feelings? They're not, they're not saying to you, sorry, I've got my makeup such in the eye. Um, they're not saying to you, oh, makeup's on my face now. <laughs> they're not saying to you that they feel the connection, that they feel the strength of this connection, that they are overwhelmed by this connection, that they have these very strong feelings for you, they have this very strong love for you, um, and they don't really know how to handle it. So sometimes to handle it, they have to go into this hermit mode to process what it is that they can do about it all. OK, so they aren't really sticking in the shadows. They go through stages of being in the shadows and then coming towards the light um, and feeling that they know what they want. And it's when you hit these lighter times, your person is going to come towards you. OK, making this action, making, you know, making plans, knowing what they want and knowing what they want comes with a much more stable new beginning for you guys. And therefore, your emotional wishes are going to be fulfilled. OK, uh, what else can we say about their, their hidden emotions for you? They are very lonely. They are very sad. They are feeling that they kind of let let how they behave just let themselves down. And it sounds quite motherly, doesn't it? They haven't let you down. They've let themselves down, but they are feeling like that. You know, they're feeling like they've let themselves down. 
you've got this movement coming back towards you. It might still be a little bit non-committal. It might still not be what you want, but they, they are looking for that sense of stability that you can provide them. So even if it's not what you want and what they're saying isn't quite what you're anticipating, they're looking for the stability that comes between that. Nine of Pentacles over here, um, feeling a lot more positive over the situation, feeling like it's all aligning for them. Um, they know that their emotions for you are really deep. Queen of Wands coming up, passionate energy, holding the two of you together and movement. Okay, so their emotions for you are there. They can just be a little bit hidden. Okay, let's see your Lenoma. What does deck number two need to know? What... Aren't they telling you about their true feelings? What aren't they telling you about their true feelings? Okay, so the first card that you've come up with the Lenormand is Anchor. So this is talking about stability and security. And with the man next to it, remember, never sexually orientated or gender specific. Uh, in Lenormand, in Tarot, there's a male and a female, but it's going to be your person's energy. So your person is feeling a lot more stable and secure over this situation. They're seeking this situation out. They're seeking the connection between the two of you. Um, and it's really going to be this positive impact. They feel that uh, between the two of you, that luck is kind of coming onto your side, onto their side. They're working out that you guys can be together and that they have got these feelings. And if you're already together, then knowing that this is a connection that they really want to um, invest time into. You might find with that that... Um, that there is, you know, this potential for growth, for things to shift, for things to move. Um, so your luck and your growth kind of coming forward quite strongly, um, quite positive as well. Your person isn't going to have a personality transplant with the tower over here. Again, Lenormand, very different from tarot. Your person isn't going to have a personality transplant. They are still going to be this stubborn person that they always were, you know, kind of going back to the start of what we said, my way or the highway. They are still in this stubborn energy, but this stubborn energy is what's going to lead to this stubbornness of, I can't let you go. This is something I want to invest my time in. So even if the stubbornness is not working in your favour the moment there is going to be a shift in that energy a shift in that dynamic as they start coming towards you giving you that sense of stability so at the moment it might be masked going back to the going back to your tarot it might be masked with this kind of oh i'm you know i'm a bit an idiot i'm doing this i'm doing that i'm absolutely fine but they want that stability and that's really really clear for all your tarot and your lenormand there is this need for stability with the connection between the two of you and that is what they want they want that stability. They want that security between the two of you. But they're just handling it in a funny way. And the reason for that is because the intensity is really strong between the two of you. Because it's a more divine connection. Joy, oh joy. You know? <laughs> Okay, guys, and that is deck number two. So my turnaround time on readings is seven to 14 days. It's down at the moment because of me being away. Thank you all so much for bearing with me, uh, with me going away. I had an incredible time. Uh, I am fully spiritually, metaphysically and earthly recharged for you all. Um, so if you need me, just give me a shout. Big shout out to Kells as well for my Mystic Love Tarot t-shirt. Um, love you all to pieces and I will speak to you soon. Have a blessed week, my lovelies. Um, and stay safe. Goddess bless.